Hello there, welcome back to Creech Plays. As you can see here, this is Red Rock Canyon, which is the home of the Great Cons. And if you look on the map right here, uh, this is where they are. And uh, I kind of made my way over here, but I did kind of do some stuff around here too. Uh, to level up a little bit, because we're going to need to level up here soon. Because there's going to be a few things we need to do, get done. And for one, I might have to bypass a certain perk that I want to get, just so I can complete this challenge for doing this... Uh, Quest, which, by the way, these things are kind of... Look at that thing. Alright, that's kind of spooky if you ask me. Alright. So, yeah. This place is pretty big, too. It's very open. Um, and it's a nice little place for the Great Cons to kind of hide out at. Which, honestly, in my opinion, uh, I, I like this place a lot. It's nice and cool and... Well, yeah. Here we are. Red Rock Canyon. Alright. Well, let's walk up here real quick. There's going to be a lot of talking in this episode, I will say that. And a lot of backtracking and going back and forth. So there's going to be a few cuts here and there. Because I just know this this mission here will technically there's going to be two missions we're going to be doing. So yeah, this is going to be quite the fun episode. Kind of. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible, but yeah. Ooh, look at that floor mat there. That's a nice little polish we got going on here. Alright, the door to the Great Con Longhouse. This place is kind of cool. Hi, everybody. You guys are all uh, here chilling. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk to the Great Con here. Hello. So the cub enters the wolf's den. What do you want, cub? I've come to ask the Great Cons to break their alliance with Caesar's Legion. Have you now? Hmm. Well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Do you really think Caesar is going to let you restore your tribe to glory? You'll be made into slaves. Sold. Ha! The Great Khans will not be slaves. Caesar himself has promised us the land from here to the Colorado, and the freedom to raid as we see fit. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Right. Who exactly are you, though? You march all the way out to Red Rock Canyon, enter my home as bold as you please, and you have no idea who I am? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Well then, let me educate you. I am the chief of the Great Khans, the Khan of Khans, if you like. This is my tribe, and these are my people. Can you tell me about your people? You want to hear the story of the Great Khans? It's a long one, full of honor, glory, and betrayal. We have suffered, but we will regain our glory. Hmm, maybe you should just give me the short version. In a hurry, are you? Very well, then. The Great Khans came east, out of the NCR, 14 years ago. We ruled the wastes then, and called no man master. But we underestimated the families of the Strip, and they drove us back to Bitter Springs, where we remained until the NCR arrived and drove us here. How did the three families defeat you? They allied with Mr. House, the self-proclaimed master of New Vegas. He supported them with the resources of New Vegas. Weapons, technology, caps. They were better equipped, and we could not stand against them. What happened at Bitter Springs? When the NCR came to the Mojave, we thought they would be easy pickings. We raided their caravans, their towns, their camps. They couldn't stop us. At least that's what we thought. They tracked us to Bitter Springs and surrounded us. When our children, our sick and old, fled through a nearby pass, the NCR gunned them down. That doesn't sound like something the NCR would order. Oh, they claimed it was a miscommunication, but tell that to those who saw our families butchered. Tell it to the survivors who were banished here. Yeah, on second thought, let's talk about something else. Typical. No reference for history in the younger generations. Oh, it was nice talking to you, Papa. Farewell. That was, uh, enlightening. Alright, well, let's actually kind of check things out here. Oh, no, no. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, a desk? Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Ooh, a footlocker. Let's see what's inside. Hey, it's a uh, Carl's journal. All right, well we'll take that because we may we might need that. 
But, uh, yeah. And I guess and this is Carl here. I'm not going to go talk to him and Regis. I'm not going to talk to him either. Let's go ahead and get out of here because, uh, yeah. I heard you try to convince Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. Who exactly are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa's second in command. You might say I share your concern about Caesar. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea, you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already, if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Alright, how can I convince Jack and Diane to support me? You'd have to talk to them, but those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one, and the other will come around. What about Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Okay, I'll see what I can do to convince him. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. How would I do that? Carl talks prettily about the honor and nobility of the great cons, but I suspect his actual opinion is less flattering. Maybe you could find something he wrote that expresses that opinion, or trick him into losing his cool in the longhouse right in front of Papa. I'll keep that in mind. I would too, if I were you. All right. Interesting. But well, I already got the material I need. In that case... All right, we need to bring the evidence to Carl, of Carl's plan to Papacon. Convince Melissa, convince Jack and Diane, and bring the evidence to Regis. Which I already got the evidence. I just need to convince the other two. Now, um, Jack and Diane should be right here. So I'm going to pop one over there real quick. Which isn't too much of a walk. It's literally just down this hill, take a right, and there's a little thing here. And then uh, Melissa, she's in a different spot. Which, uh... I'll show you the map here real quick. Um, she's like right here, and if you don't know what this area is, early on in the game, uh, everyone said do not go up towards north because of all the problems at Quarry Junction. That's Quarry Junction, and uh, that place is filled with freaking death claws. And uh, I ain't gonna be over there for a bit because uh, I don't like no damn death claws, and I don't want to mess with those damn things because those things will beat the fuck out of you. And uh, yeah. Sure, I've got all the weapons in the world right now to help destroy those things, but hell no. That's bad enough I already used a lot of uh, ammo for my grenade rifle killing a bunch of rad scorpions to level me up back near uh, Good Spring Cemetery. Whew. Yeah. No fun. I heard from one of Melissa's runners that that check-coated bastard got thrown out on his ass. <laughs> yeah. Too bad I wish I killed him, but I didn't. Or did I? Anyway. Let's see here. Alright, just a lot of trailers here and red rock drug lab oh okay what is this breaking bad all right well in that case let's go ahead and talk to diane first you're not one of my regulars what do you want i've been told you're someone i would talked about stopping the cons alliance with caesar hey it's not like i'm super attached to working with caesar or anything but if he'll stop his patrols from harassing my runners i'm all for it yeah, Caesar isn't going to let you run drugs as an ally anymore that he supports it now. He hates chems. I haven't heard anything like that. Do you have any proof? Not yet, but I'll find some. Okay. Come on back when you do. Alright. Well, 
You've got an impressive setup here. You have considered making more helpful chems? Helpful? What, like bathtub stim packs? What's the point of that? Well, medical supplies are always scarce, and they don't kill the buyers often. Think of the profits. You've got a point. Selling meds to the locals could be a pretty nice side gig. All right, I'll tell Jack to give it a try. All right. While I'm here, I'm also looking for a few caps. Got any work for me? Hmm. You look like you could handle yourself in a fix. All right, I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened to him, I'll give you some real work. Sure. Just tell me who I'm looking for and where to start. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders southeast to find a route into Arizona to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. Okay, I'll be back as soon as I can without any news. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. All right. And, uh, I don't know about the whole dress code there, but my god. All right, you must be Jack. Whoa, new guy. I'm here to ask you to publicly oppose Papa Khan's alliance with Caesar. Huh? Look, man, me and Diane, we don't dig on that politics stuff, Savvy. We just make the product and make it get to a good home. Sure, Caesar's a drag, but as long as we've got each other, we don't care who the top dogs roll with. But you won't have each other. The Legion will kill you and sell Diane into slavery as a prostitute. Savvy? Dude, what a total haul. No way that's Copa Shishi. Yeah, okay. Me and Diane got your back. No sweat. Well, hell, that was easy. Alright, um... Yeah. Nice to see you around, Jack. Take it easy, dude. Huh. Well, that, that was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find my way to Melissa and, uh, yeah, deal with that crap. Alright, here I am right outside of, uh, this makeshift camp here. Which, yeah, here we go. Makeshift Great Con Camp. And, uh, happens to be right next to the Good Spring Cemetery. And, uh... Yeah, so this is how we're going to actually get up to Melissa, because, um, for one, you have to climb up this rock here, and then loop around. Now, that camp right there, um, if you've got the pre-order of this game back in the day, and got the special edition, you was able to get a comic that talked about how Benny actually mope, moped around and got there. Now, here's the thing. This place is kind of scary to get through. Hopefully there's no death claws around here, because, uh, sometimes when I am playing like this part uh they will show up but right now they're not showing up which is good my perception's pretty high so i should be able to see them on the radar all right should i go like metal gear solid dun, 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 dun. okay never mind all right um don't see any great great threats over here or anything like that all right just need a, just a little bit more all right we should be good and here we are to where I need to be, and that's where the Great Quarry is. Great, I keep saying the word great because everything's about the Great Cons and stuff. But yeah, Quarry Junction's right here, and uh, ugh, that place. Do not go alone. I mean, you need some backup for that place. That place sucks. All right, here we are. That's close enough. What do you want with the Great Cons? Regis said I should talk to you about speaking against the Great Cons alliance with Caesar. You can ask, but why would I do that? Cal told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. Yeah, did he also tell you that women aren't permitted to serve in the Legion? What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? If the Great Khans join the Legion, he'll be sold as a slave, an officer's wife if you're lucky. That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. Alright, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. I need to get going. Bye. Alright. Technically three down, and uh, one more to go, which I have the evidence to do that. But before I do that, I need to go ahead and actually make this quest done. So I can, because there's a way you can actually go to uh, Cottonwood, Cottonwood uh, Cove here. And uh, actually go to the fort, which I do not want to go there just yet, because I got that little journal of Carl's. But I need to go there anyway to actually find Anders, so I'm going to make my way over there now. Again, here's another jump cut. Yay. 
All right, making my way down to uh, Cottonwood, uh, Cottonwood Cove is going to be fun. Ugh. A lot, of, a lot of places out here, but what's that place over there? I guess we could check this out real quick. Shouldn't be too long of a pop and visit. Actually, I'm going to equip a different weapon because I feel like something might happen. And then, uh, yeah, check this place out. And a uh, raided farmstead. Well... That sounds like fun. If you have the waste, the wild wasteland perk, yeah, I think you might be able to see some crazy stuff here, but I can't remember. All right, look at all. Ooh, this is not good. Armor case. I'll take all that. Take that for sure. Take that rebound because I can sell it. I ain't gonna use that. Ooh. I'll take all this stuff. And oh, oh, oh. All right. Nice, nice. I'll take that, too. Hey, one of those uh, star bottle caps. And, uh... Uh-oh. I sense trouble. All right, people. I know you're coming for me. Oh, crap. You got a grenade rifle, too. Both you guys do. Oh, I missed. I completely missed. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa! Do all you guys have those damn things? Oh my god! Ugh. Oh my god, I'm gonna get messed up for sure. Alright, well. Time to bust your head open, baby. Oh! Done. Hey, I gained the camel of the Mojave perk. Nice. Could do that, I guess. Where are you going, buddy? Get out of here, girl! Oh, you ain't you ain't got nothing on that. Oh, ho, ho. done. Get out of here. Is that everybody? I think so. Oh my God, it's a level up. All right. Now, I did say last episode I wanted to do repair, but I just can't right now. I have to put everything in the speech because I definitely need this done. But I will put the last piece in the explosives just for fun because I need speech to be 75, which sucks for this quest because I need to do something with Carl and with Papa Khan. So I will have to bypass what I wanted to get, which kind of sucks. But... There are some uh, perks I want to do. Weapons handling. Weapon strength requires now two. Okay, and uh, I'm not going to do tag. That's stupid. Hmm. I could technically do that. But, you know what? I'll do that later. Um, I think what I'm going to actually do is quick draw. Because I want to actually haul st like take my weapons out faster. Because, yeah. That's going to be like a lot of movement all right so heck I'll take most of this stuff these guys might have something good all right uh, I, was that you yeah that was you and you guys kind of exploded all the place so yeah I don't want that whetstone what I you get that I get that out of here all right um well um, here's another guy. Okay. Take all you. Oh, I definitely take those scrap electronics. How much, like, pure water, purified water do I have left? I'll drink some, uh, some dirty water real quick. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so pork and beans, I'll eat those two, and I'll eat all these two. And those. And, uh, oh, I got three left. Screw it. I'll drink all those, and I'll make Sunset Sarsaparilla right there. Yay! Yeah, I'll take that. Heck, I'll take all of this, honestly. And wasn't there another? Yeah, there you go. All right. Um. Ooh, right away. I can always use some right away because, uh, yeah, that stuff is a uh, always something I need. All right, come on, health, heal, heal faster. And it helps, too, because I can actually get some of this load off my back. And then, uh, let's go ahead and reload my shotgun real fast. Yes. 
put that away. And uh, I think the purify water's done, which kind of sucks. Still healing a bit. There you go. Now this is Camp Searchlight. I'm not going to do this mission, um, but I will say we we'll have to get past this place in order to get to Cottonwood Cove. And uh, yeah, that's going to be quite fun. Now what's going on? Oh great, it's the Legion. And they're actually not fighting me. That's fine. Kill them! Kill them! No! You kill the f- mm. Die. Die! You like that? There you go. Yeah. Oh, now what? Hang on there, Traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. If it's so filled with radiation, why are you still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. All right. Well, I'll see you around then. Stay safe. Yeah, no kidding. With all these crap, all this crap here, I'll take all their stuff too. Like they ain't gonna need it. They're gonna, they're dead. And uh, yeah, an apple. It sounds bad, but I'm gonna loot your guy here. Ant meet you. Take a dog. Take purify water. And you. Your rifle, so yeah, I'll just take all that stuff. All right, oh, there's more guys out there. Cool. Well, I'm gonna just loop around, okay? Bye, guys. Ah, it's gonna be a little bit long, more of a longer for a walk, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut once I get to where I need to be. Okay, here we are. Well, close as I can get to. And, uh... What the... Hey! That's gotta be Anders. It is. Gotta get to him fast. Hey! Hello. Please, help me. Are you Anders? Jack and Diane sent me to look for you. Thank God. Let me down, please. I'll get you down from there. All right, well, that's done. But since I'm here, I might as well mark this location since I don't, I don't have to worry about traveling too far to get to it. Look at all these people, though. God, I, I hate this place already. And who's this idiot? Oh, that's a Legion guy. Halt! What business have you in Cottonwood Cove, outsider? I'm just a humble trader passing through. Very well, you may proceed. However, be warned. Aggressive acts against us will earn you a place on a cross. Yeah, like these people here? Sure. Go blow me. Alright. Let's go back to Diane and, uh, tell her we found Anders. And, uh, hopefully he'll make it. Hey, Diane. I found him. Anders told me what happened. We owe you one for rescuing him. Tell you what. I can give you caps as a thank you or a special recipe Jack cooked up. I'll just take the caps. Here you go, you've earned these. With Anders out of commission for so long, we're short-handed on runners, and some backlogs have piled up. We've got an associate in the Crimson Caravan Trading Company who distributes for us and out of Vegas. He's been after us for a new shipment. Sure, I'll do it. Great. Here's the package. Your contact is Don Hostetler at the Crimson Caravan. Come back and see me when you're done. I've been hearing a lot of good things about you. What's up? Have you started making meds yet? Yeah, you made a pretty good argument. We'll keep it small for now, but if it turns a profit, we might expand. All right. Well, thank you. Catch you later. I wonder if Jack's got anything new to say. Hey, look who it is bringing that good con karma around. <laughs> yeah. How's the medical work going? Already on it. I whipped up a few stim packs already. But if you've got any more recipes, I'll take them. Thanks for your help, Jack. Take it easy, dude. Alright, so we gotta find this Don fella. He's all the way over there. Well, let's go ahead and give this to him real quick and then we'll meet up with Diane one more time. And then 
we'll go ahead and talk to Papa. Okay, so here I am back in the Crimson Caravan. And that Don fellow's around here somewhere. Hi, everybody. It's been a while since I've been through here. I wonder how Ringo's doing. Well, there's Ringo. He seems fine. And, uh, looks like Don might be in here. Hey, you ain't Don. Alice McCracken, maybe? Whatever her freaking name is. Hey, there's, uh, Don right now. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? I got a package here for you from your friends from Jack and Diane. Huh? Oh, oh, right, yeah. I'll take that. You should go now before you draw any attention. All right, see ya. That was easy. All right, well, that taken care of. I wonder, can I sell some stuff off to this dude? Uh, maybe. If you're looking to buy or sell, you've come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. Why well, you sound just like that Don guy. <laughs> anyway, show me what you got for sale. Can do. All right, see you around, Blake. See ya. Huh, I got some stuff from him just a minute ago. I don't know what it is. Let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Stress in a modern refugee, a primer, and tiny, tiny babies, all you need to know about patriotic medicine. Those look like some interesting items. I'm gonna have to use them sometime. But anyway, back to Diane and tell her what's going on. Oh, oh dang, it's nighttime already. Jeez. Yeah, I got that done for you. Did you make that delivery yet? Yes, I did. I just finished up that Crimson Caravan run. Great. Here's your payment. Now that Anders is back, how about that work? Yeah, you did good finding him. Okay, if you want a little work, I think I can find you something. Sure, what do you got? You up for something challenging? I've got a ship of Jet and Psycho that needs to be delivered to Motor Runner at Vault 3. Piece of cake. Don't get cocky. The fiends are twitchy. Most of them won't bother a con, but the ones outside the vault, well, they're outside for a reason. Here's the package. Good luck. Your payment will be waiting when you get back. Alright, well, thank you. Bye. Alright, we're now liked by the Great Cons. Which is good. Now, I guess this time would be right now to go ahead and call this episode uh, quits here. Because uh, the next few things I'm going to do, especially that quest right there. Um, it's going to take some time doing this quest because there's a lot to do in this quest. And I can get a lot of XP out of it as well. But yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, call it quits here. And, uh, oh, this place is actually kind of cool at night. Look at this place. Ain't this awesome? So many great cons out and about, too. Probably doing some cool stuff. But, yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. We'll continue watching the series and watch it grow. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. As always, folks, stay safe, stay calm, rock on. In the next episode, we're going to have the great con conclusion. Finally get Papa Con to hear what we have to say about things and uh, probably do some other stuff around here too. So see you guys around.